Hey, Chris here with another Through the Prism of Chrism. I'm at my guest house again like yesterday. This is a great place to stay for Branson area vacations. We're talking on the mind of Christ. 1 Corinthians 2.16, you have, we have the mind of Christ. Today, I want to tell you how important it is to be selective about what enters our mind. We are a spiritual customs agent, kind of a spiritual TSA, to govern what we allow in. Philippians 4 and verse 8 says, what sort of things are true, just, pure, honest, lovely, what sort of things are of a good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. I want you today to think about what you're thinking about. One time I was preaching a revival in Gillette, Wyoming, got to the airport to fly to my leg to Denver before coming to Springfield, and uh, the the counter there is not over six or eight feet wide. There's one lady standing behind it. I walk up, she said, you're late. I said, we got plenty of time, don't we? I didn't think there was a big rush in a small town like this. She said, well, you're required to check in an hour early. And she just about didn't give me my boarding pass, but finally she did. I walked around the side of that six-foot counter, and there she was standing again. She said, could I see your driver's license and boarding pass? And I said, well, ma'am, you just gave me the boarding pass. At which time she ran me into a side room, frisked me, wandered me down, and gave me a royal chewing out. I walked out of that room. It's about 10 foot now to the door that goes out under the tarmac. She's standing there. She said, could I see your driver's license and boarding pass? At which time I went ahead and said, well, I humbled myself, said, here you go, ma'am, and walked out and minded my own business. Evidently, Islamic terrorism is a big threat in little Gillette, Wyoming. Now, the more I think about it, she's just doing her job. Why? Because she's responsible to make sure that nothing gets on that flight that might endanger the staff or the crew or the passengers. And here's what I want you to see. We're on a flight somewhere. Our lives are headed at supersonic speed to a future, to a destiny. We are responsible. We're the customs agents. We are the TSA that is to screen every thought that is allowed into our thinking. You know, the Old Testament priest stood at the gate of the temple to make sure that nothing Gentile, nothing uncircumcised, nothing unclean ever got into the temple of God. Paul said your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost and your mind and spirit become a holy of holies for God to dwell. So it's very important that we practice personal priesthood and be very selective about what enters our ear gate, eye gate, through our senses to get into our spirit. You know, I was thinking, some guy builds a new house, and he's got this lush white carpet laid out. Music's playing, atmosphere, new decorations and furniture. And the next door neighbor wants to see what's going on inside. He comes in, and he's been out working in his garden. His boots are covered with mud, and he's tramping mud all over that new white carpet. And of course, Junior's standing outside. He's got two trash bags going out to the, going out to the trash, and he wants to come in, and now he's dripping uh, coffee grounds and banana peels and everything all over your new carpet. <laughs> well, what are you going to do at that time? You're not going to give them a polite sending away. You're literally going to cast them out like you're casting out a devil. If there's ever been a time to kick the bondwoman out, if there's ever been a time to throw out carnal thinking, it's after you have created this beautiful white carpet atmosphere, you've been working a lifetime to make a, a temple that's conducive to the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life. Well, it's very important that we be selective on what enters, and then if something enters that isn't right, to be sure to use the same treatment, to cast that thing out of your life, to kick out of your life every negative thought, and to maintain and retain the mind of of Christ. I'm Chris. Thanks for being with us. Now, we need a lot more likes than we're getting. I'm spending a lot of time putting a lot of work into this, and I want to make sure that we're using our time effectively and wisely. So please share this with everybody you can think of that might be interested in a small study from the Word of God. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow with more on the mind of Christ.